For decades, he worked to build a greater Boston, and he inspired generations of others to do the same. Tonight, the community came together to mourn and remember Mel King, an activist and a political force who empowered people from all walks of life. WBZ's Christina Rex takes us to tonight's Communities of Color event, where King's legacy was celebrated. An annual event to celebrate Massachusetts communities of color mourned the loss of a great member. Good to see you. Mel King. Mel King, a legendary political leader, state rep, and the first black person to run for mayor, died on Tuesday. His son took the stage in his honor. He was about love. He was about being speaking truth to power. Despite the somber tone, the event remained a celebration. Mel knows how to make an entrance, okay? I, you know, I can say that being family. While this is by no means the first thank you event or celebration of its kind for the organization Communities of Color, it was this group's first chance to sit down in an intimate setting with a new governor and new administration. There was a generation that laid that foundation for us. Mayor Michelle Wu and Lieutenant Governor Driscoll were among more than a dozen state leaders here, led by Governor Maura Healey, to talk about Mel King's legacy and Greater Boston's future. His vision, his ability to see what was possible when so many said that was impossible. The event was hosted by WBZ's own Tiffany Chan and Paul Burton. From the youngest members... All ages. The focus was on how to take King's message forward. He was always a man of the people, and so that's what I always do a takeaway in terms of politics. No matter how high you get or how deep you go, always be a person of the community. In Roxbury, Christina Rex, WBZ News.